It's cold out. You want to get away. Guess what? We have an entire hour dedicated to travel. Don't you want to go away? Yeah. It's a travel special, which is why I get to be uber casual. Uh, we promised our producer of the show today that we would dress the way we dress when we are actually going on a flight. So, your experts for today, Eva Grabasic, Bruce Sullivan, Summer Jackson, come on in. how we actually travel. Yeah. I am obviously the schlep in the group. <laughs> so I'm going to start with me. Okay, so I will often do uh, some kind of a jumpsuit. If not a jumpsuit, then definitely a jogger. So I'm just trying to be one step up from a yoga outfit. <laughs> I try. <laughs> Always sneakers, usually my Adidas, so I match my daughter. That's important to her. Yeah, we both have Adidas <laughs> shoes. I will always overpack. Always. <laughs> It's something that drives my husband nuts. This could be a two-day trip to Montreal in this bed. <laughs> I don't care. I want options, okay? My first trip to uh, Paris, I brought nine pairs of shoes, and I brought four extra back home. I bought four. Yeah, no, he's, he's disgusted. Like, I pay overweight always. So uh, I'll always overpack. <laughs> This scarf uh, I borrowed from Eva. Usually I'll have my big Zara blanket scarf, and that is my blanket, my pillow, my everything, and my scarf uh, while I'm traveling. But this is basically like pretty accurate. And then I've got all of my documents uh, and information in here. If I'm traveling with my kids, this is a humongous tote because all their electronics are in it and all of that stuff. Okay, classy lady. Okay, I am. This the, is how you travel. I do, except I don't wear heels. Okay, I, yeah, I usually fair do wear a flat shoe, but I like to travel like the old way, dressed up. Yeah. And all it is is a t-shirt and jeans. It's really not that crazy, but then I love a blazer because I don't know where I'm going to go, how cold it's going to be. It looks good. A scarf. And I travel like this with my kids, with my four kids, because I figure um, it's going to be one heck of a flight. I am going to be really stressed, so I might as well look good and fake it till I make it. I love that. <laughs> I really do. And, and you're not uncomfortable. No, there's nothing not. uncomfortable on you. I change my shoes out. Yes. I do when I get on the flight if I have to, if I need something even more comfortable, because then that way I put in my carry-on. I don't get charged for it in my luggage. Smart. Oh, yeah, because, you know, there's a lot of things I need to bring. Yeah. And this is my electronics hub. All our chargers, laptop, everything is in my carry-on in case we need oh. extras because there's a lot of us traveling. Absolutely. Also, the thing that people should know is if you are traveling to, say, Croatia, yes. okay, you are traveling there as sort of a member of the community. As soon as you get off that plane, yes, I am. people will know you. Yeah. And so you kind of have to represent. I, well, my husband will be like, if you don't dress properly, I'm going to put on social media how you actually look <laughs> and let all the sea line viewers <laughs> know how you are dressing. And your career's over. And my career's over. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to me, right? There you go. So it makes sense. Thankfully, okay, my Percy. career has nothing to do with how I look. <laughs> right? Because I am on a plane wearing a, this please, I didn't even wash it for you. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I also thought it was important that the snack was a part of my outfit yes. because there are always, always snacks with me. Yeah. So there is a comfortable fleece. There is running shoes. Yes. Always running shoes because as someone who's hiked a lot, you can't show up in a place with shoes that have been lost. And that happened to me once they got stolen uh, flying through El Salvador. So when I arrived in Guatemala to go hiking up the volcano, I didn't know the proper shoes. I bought a pair at a local market for like 10 bucks. They were made of plastic and oh. they were like wearing two Coke bottles on your feet. Oh. So I always wear great shoes. The other thing that's really important to my outfit that you cannot see are my blinders oh, okay. and my earplugs because I am the friendliest, nicest person you will ever meet except for if you're sitting beside me on a plane. <laughs> and if you're sitting beside me, if I've got Dennis, if I've got Abby, I am like, I don't even know who you are. We're not speaking. <laughs> We're not speaking. Here got we. it. Okay, you're set. Shona? I'm easy. Looking I good. like to be ready to go through security. Yes. I wear ballet flats because I don't have to take them off through yes. security. I wear the stretchiest jeans possible. Yes. Extra, extra, like might as well be leggings. They just look like jeans. A really thin cashmere sweater because it's warm, but it's also lightweight. Mm -hmm. A simple white t-shirt underneath so I can take off the sweater if I'm getting off somewhere warm. Warm. Yeah. And a scarf because I'm almost always cold. Yes. And I can go through security. No belt. Uh, you know, I don't, this watch I know goes through, my rings go through, so I don't have to de wardrobe my nice. entire self just to go through security. I know this is all, always a pass. Right. And then my luggage, that's a suitcase I'll check. And this is my carry on. And we're going to get to kind of the details of that in a little bit. And I'm good to go. I like easy.